Hey there, Lori here again. So, today, I ordered Chinese food, and that's always fun. I haven't ordered Chinese food in a couple months, because, um, I haven't really had money to spend on Chinese food. But, I have some money, and so I bought some Chinese food, and I called up the place, right? And, I was just reminded about how hilarious Chinese people are. Especially, you know, when it comes to food and stuff. And so, you know, I call up the Chinese place. It's like a Lucky China. And I call them up. And a woman answers. And literally, the conversation went like this. I'm going to recreate it for you. Yeah, hello? Hello? Yeah, um, I'd like to place an order for uh, delivery. You want to order for delivery? Phone number? Yeah, my phone number is 678. Uh huh. 867. Uh huh. 5309. Uh huh. What's your address? My address is. Uh huh. What you want to order? I'm sorry, what was that? I said, what you want to order? Oh, I want the, um, chicken lo mein and general style chicken. You want a white wise or a far wise? Do I want what? You want a white wise or a far wise? Oh, white rice is good. Okay, it'll be 17, 18. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. So that was how the conversation between us went. And probably no more than 10 minutes later, I get a phone call. And it's a very angry sounding little Chinese man. And he's spitting out words that I don't understand and I think it's supposed to be English but it doesn't really sound like English it sounds like Chinese and he says it really really fast and I was just like so he basically what I got out of it out of the few words that I could understand is that he couldn't get into the building because well my building you have to have a card to get in and if you don't have the card then you don't get into the building so he calls me to come let him in so I was like, okay, so I was going to go downstairs. I didn't even get to the door of my apartment. He calls me back, and I answer the phone, and he's spitting spitting stuff at me, like these words, and I didn't understand a word that he was saying. And all of a sudden, like, basically what I hear was this. I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not even exaggerating. And then I was like, I'm sorry, I can't understand you. And I get, and I was like, so I said one more time, I'm sorry, can you please repeat that? Click. I was like, okay, maybe he found a way in. Probably two minutes later, I get a knock on my door. He found a way into the building and knocked on my apartment door and delivered the food straight to me. <sighs> so those Chinese people, like, they don't care. They'll be like, building locked? No problem, we find a way in. We use Chinese magic. We get food to customer. We don't care about lock. We break window, we break in. Oh yeah, you know home? We break in apartment. We leave food on counter. We take money out of safe. How did you know I had a safe? Oh, we find everything. Chinese magic, we know it all. We know everything. We know everything. Seriously, Chinese people, I swear to God. <laughs> like, they're just crazy in that way. And, like, nothing against Chinese people. I think Chinese people are great. I love the accents and, and everything. It, it's, it's hilarious. Just, it's, it, it's wonderful. It's just... Like, they just seriously, like, somehow got into the building and delivered the food straight to me. And just, magic Chinese people. You know, as a door, we break it in our, your apartment. You know, pay money? We find your money. We find it. We know you have it hidden somewhere. It's in the underwear drawer. I find it. You have, you have a pretty underwear. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm so done. I'm going to hell. For making fun of the Chinese this much. And they're gonna like spit in my food or do terrible things to me. 
Here, watch this. Oh my gosh. So, anyway, that was my experience with the Chinese food. <laughs> Peace! And if you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe to my videos because, because, well, I'm amazing and you know you want to.